This is a story about a carefree puppy named Timber. That's the little guy on the left. And Shanda Taylor Boyd, a retired Army officer. Their lives were brought together because of the Vancouver-based nonprofit Northwest Battle Buddies. You know, when I started this organization, I just wanted to give a dog to a veteran, and I had no idea the ripple effect it would have on the lives that it would touch. Colleen Goodwin donated Timber to Northwest Battle Buddies and described him this way. Timber is one of our Golden Retriever puppies that uh, we brought here in December. Timber is a um, English Cream Golden Retriever, so he's got that lighter color, whitish color coat. Fun-loving, sweet, good-natured little boy. Timber's first assignment, to be a puppy and grow up in a foster home. and hold on to the line, I'll call him and see what we get. Timber, here, here. <laughs> Relying on 20 years of training dogs. Back. Shannon knows it takes time, patience, and lots of love to properly train a service dog. We always want to end on a positive. It's really an awesome thing when you see where they come from and what we can create, because dogs really are only what we create them to be. Being a service dog is not easy. Once that vest goes off, Timber has to focus on what he has been trained for. When the dogs are out in public as a team, they're not allowed to sniff each other, show attention to each other, or be dogs. That behavior is for when they're not vested and they're just playing. But out in public, they're not allowed to do that. Even to giving up treats offered. And if the teller asks you if they can give them a cookie, you have to say no. Part of the training includes visits to stores and shopping malls. One of the things that's really, really important for a service dog or any dog when you're asking him to work and follow you is that they have to trust you. So therefore, when you're asking them to do something new, they, they trust you enough to follow because you're going to make sure nothing bad happens. There's like this tiny little hole right here. Shanda Taylor Boyd, a retired Army officer, suffered a traumatic brain injury in an auto accident. An advocate for veterans with PTSD, she tells all who will listen about the importance of having a service dog. She puts it this way. Because they impact our lives. Like sometimes it's not even, we don't even live from like, people are like, take it day by day. Many veterans, we have to take it not even hour by hour or minute by minute, but as a good friend said, breath by breath. First time I met Timber, I was down here for a fundraiser. That two-night event fundraiser started with the screening of the movie Least Among Saints, a story about an ex-Marine and a neighbor boy's journey to redemption. What happened when she met Timber? Let her explain. Timber was running all over me, and it was like we had this beautiful connection, and I had no idea that one day Timber was going to be mine. After two months of training with Timber, the day of their final test arrives. Shanda and fellow vets have to prove to Shannon that they and their service dog can deal with being in public when negotiating stairs, stay focused on their job even when around other dogs, being pet by a stranger, ignoring temptations like drop food, and remain calm in a noisy environment. So I gotta tell you, that's the end of your testing. <gasps> For Shannon Walker, this day is bittersweet. I am so proud of you. And at the same time, say goodbye to some very special friends. Colleen Goodwin saw when Timber was a pup that he had potential. He seems to have a purpose. He gets that vest on and it changes his demeanor. I think he already knows that he has some important work to do. 